New developments. Police say a father has confessed to an unthinkable crime, killing his special needs son and then trying to kill himself. Channel 2's Tony Thomas is live in Lilburn with the message the dad left for his family just before this attack. Tony. Yeah, Craig, the father reportedly left a message for his wife saying simply, I'm sorry. Police say they found the father and his son in this area of the back lot of a church parking lot here after the father called 911. Paramedics arrived and saved his life, but it was too late for his son. I know them almost, I think, so 10 years. Mohammed Buyan says he can't believe the crime his neighbors accused of. It doesn't match, he says, the man he saw caring for his special needs son almost every day. You see them out a lot? Yes, uh, he take it all the time. These are pictures of Fakri Erdem and his son Hakan we found on the father's Facebook page. Lilburn police say the 47-year-old drove his son to the back parking lot of this Lilburn church Monday night, then killed the 12-year-old with a kitchen knife. Investigators say after he tried to kill himself, he called 911 and survived. The uh, father, uh, Fikri, had left a voicemail message on the wife's cell phone saying that he was sorry, uh, tell the daughters that this was an accident. Detectives say they aren't sure what led up to the attack. He did require a lot of care, that he did have scream a lot, it was his outburst, and that uh, the husband had not had, uh, had been not sleeping for the last 10 days. We just ran the living room. That was Fikri back in 2011 when lightning struck his house. Back then, he helped pull his son with cerebral palsy out of the burning home. Investigators now say he'll face a murder charge. He's the good guy, I don't know what he do. When I stopped by the family's house today, Erdem's wife said she simply did not want to talk about the incident. She told me she's trying to save her two daughters any more trauma. Live in Lilburn, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News.